what's going on youtube you already know today in this video i will be doing a hot table fade first i would like to give a shout out to my boy dante man you know what i'm saying he comes to me every week for a haircut because you know what i'm saying he knows i'm the best in the neighborhood but with further ado let's just get back into this haircut the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna start off by brushing the comb the hair to which you know what i'm saying the desired length when you comb it because you don't want to just get nobody hair and just start cutting it without combing it. You had to study the hair before you cut the hair. I just want to let you guys know all my haircut tutorials are actually the same but in this particular tutorial i'm cutting this hair against the grain with a one and a half because i'm starting a debug section that's why i want to start to uh haircut it so i cut all the way up to the parietal ridge and make sure you get all the fine hairs because uh you will notice if i'm cutting a, uh my client's hair i'm using a comb to push the braids or the dress back so I can have enough room to feed my teeth and my clippers to, you know what I'm saying, get every piece of hair that I see that don't want to come off. Then I will come back and debuff that section again. You'll see what I'm talking about. Just stick around. Then I come back in with my Supreme trimmers. They're made by Vader. And one thing about these trimmers, they run 210 minutes. So you have a lot of battery life. But uh, with that being said, I put the first initial guideline in with them. And you know what I'm saying? I always start your hair cut off neat because like I always say in all my tutorials, if you start it off neat, it will end neat. So stick around long enough because you know what I'm saying? This haircut will be smoked. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of using the foil shavers after I make my first initial guideline because I see that the trimmers, they made the uh, ball line as ball as I wanted. But for YouTube purposes, I just want to know what I'm saying, just add this little portion on the video. But it's your decision whether you want to use the foil shavers depending on how close your trimmers get when you make that first initial guideline. But yeah, with that being said, let's just get back into the video and enjoy it. And for the most part, this is a very simple tutorial. I do all my haircuts the same. Even if you want a ball fade, I start the haircut off just like that. But all the haircuts start off the same. With that being said, man, look, check this out. I take my Babyliss Pro clippers and I open them up, no guard, and I go up a quarter of an inch or an inch. Yeah, I kind of decide on how far to take the uh, second initial guidelines so I can have enough fading room and enough adjustment for my clippers. But with that being said, man, just make your second initial guideline with the blades open so you can have enough room to start the fade down process. And I fade in sections as, as you notice on all my videos. I make the first initial guideline, open the blade up, and then I go up an inch or a quarter of an inch and I start to, you know what I'm saying, feather that line out because, you know what I'm saying, I just want to work with that little section so I can jump to my primary section. So let's just check it out and see how it turn out. Then I come back with the one and a half guard because you know on the first beginning of the video you seen when I cut the hair down with the one and a half. Now I'm actually debulking with the one and a half. Why am I keep on saying one and a half? Oh, I know why because I just want to keep on reminding you guys of what guard I'm using. But yeah, let's get back into this. I'm just actually debulking with the one and a half, so I come back with the following guard and start to feather that line out. For the most part, I really don't use my Andes Masters when I'm recording videos. I only use them, you know what I'm saying, when I'm not recording. But with that being said, you know what I'm saying, I just actually use them when I'm like, 
you know what I'm saying, doing detail or, you know what I'm saying, debunking. But let's just get back to this haircut. The first thing I do, remember I had went down debunking with the one and a half. So I put my one magnetic guard on my Indus Masters and I open them. And the thing that I'm doing right now, I'm just feeding my blade underneath the one and a half to lighten that line up. Um, and then I'm adjusting as needed. So I'm in the open position and I'm in the closed position with my number one guard on my Anders Masters. So I'm starting to paint that line out so I can come back with the next guard. Now I have my zero guards on my Anders Master. The only thing I'm doing right now is actually using the corners to, you know what I'm saying, to press that fade as in one. Then I will come back and just do minor detail work underneath it. The only thing I'm doing right now is just feathering out so I can come back with the next step. All right, guys, now I took my zero guard off. Now, just straight blade. Remember to always use the corners, and as you notice, I'm combing the hair as I, you know what I'm saying, do the little detail work because, you know what I'm saying, I just wanna, it's like I'm using a comb to measure where my fade stop it after I took out my zero guard. If you don't understand what I'm saying, kind of rewind the video and you'll understand it more. But I'm just using my comb like a measuring tool so I can just know where my fade started. But remember to always do details, even though, even though it looks like you don't need to do details, still do it because you know what I'm saying, this separates you from other barbers. Now I come back with my number one guard. I'm actually, you know what I'm saying, just, just doing a little minor detail. It's not nothing much to do. I'm just making sure everything, you know what I'm saying, flows together as in one because you know, if you, do one side this way you want to turn around and make sure the other side going to match this side so whatever side you're working on first remember to always stay on that side and do much as you can because when you get on the other side remember you want the other side to turn out like this side or a little bit better try to you know what i'm saying compete on both sides to see what side would make you know what i'm saying what side would look better but at the end of the day the haircut should be fresh no matter what This side is the same exact way than the other side because you know, you have to make it match if you want it to look good, you know what I'm saying? So what I did, I got my Vader trimmers and I made my first initial guideline. And like I said, on the other side, make sure that you have everything clean and neat because I always start a haircut off neat. Now, well earlier I had, after the Vader trimmers, I grabbed my foyer and I cleaned that area up because you know what I'm saying? I just want to come back with the, the next step which is my Babyliss Pro Clippers. And I opened the guard up, no guard, straight blade, and I made my first, my second initial guideline with the blade open. And now you see me doing a little adjustment work. Like I said earlier, I just want to work in sections because you know, I don't just like to fade up and fade down. I just want to do everything as one. And now you see me, like I said earlier again, I grabbed the one and a half and started to debunk so I can come back with the next guard and I started, you know what I'm saying, with the number one open and I adjust as needed. And you know what I'm saying, just, just, it's just a fade down process. And right now, what you see now, I have my zero guard on and I'm just taking out that one that I was adjusting with earlier to make the fade, you know what I'm saying, compress as in one. But you can see the fade is being built right here as we speak because you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. So you know what I'm saying, you wanna, you wanna build that fade in a day, you feel me? Now I'm just actually doing the detail work with the, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the number one. I'm adjusting the number one into the parietal ridge area because, you know, I just want that to fall as one full haircut. Now, if you really look at this side and look at the other side, they look exactly alike. But with that being said, let's fast forward the back part until we get up to the edge up. Okay, now guys, now I'm about to uh, 
get ready to edge my client up big shout out to dante for coming through like i said in the first beginning of the video but like i said uh you want to just comb and separate the hair from the braids or the hair from the dreads because you know you don't want to cut into anything because he's trying to save much as he can at the top anyway with that being said you know what i'm saying you don't want to mistake cut into a dread or a braid but yeah with that being said let's just get into it i'm gonna uh take the number one open and i'm gonna go and knock out the first you know what i'm saying section of the hair and make sure everything you know what i'm saying cuts evenly because you don't want to just leave a couple of dark spots because i used to be known for leaving dark spots uh when i'm preparing the edge up and remember to get that brush and everything and make sure everything you know falls in place after i used the brush i grab my tresemme holding spray and i spray the edge up and then i fall behind that with the blow dryer to you know what i'm saying freeze the edge up up because once you put tresemme between the skin and the hair that's what that right there will make that ash mark so your edge up could be crispy and as you notice them trimmers are hitting now i got them out the box they was already hidden but i kind of like adjusted the blade back a little bit because they was actually too sharp when i first bought them so they was hitting but they was like biting my clients so i had to go back and adjust the blades and you know what i'm saying just bag up out the blade by like a hair or probably a meter and look just look at the side view without the enhancements but you know what i'm saying he wanted enhancements he gonna get enhancements and you know what i'm saying one more time big shout out to dante man for you know what i'm saying coming out you know what i'm saying supporting this boy and yeah let's just get into the video and see how it turn out guys if you stuck around long enough and you've seen the first beginning of the video this is how my client came in like i said big shout out to dante for pulling up on this boy this is exactly how he came in and this is exactly how he looked when he left out so if you stuck around long enough man please hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and you know what i'm saying just let your boy know that you're a loyal subscriber man because every day or every other day i'm gonna try to drop as much content as i can you know what i'm saying to keep my you know what i'm saying clients happy and not only my clients but you know my subscribers and everything so big shout out to everybody and you know uh you can also follow me on instagram at black underscore prince 79 and at tiktok at your tiktok barber one but with that being said man look at their haircut man look at that fade i mean there's nothing like it i mean i separate myself from other barbers but with that being said may god bless